Now we're back to using that wonderful partition statement. As you can see here, we're going to rank open paren, close paren, over, partition by product ID, order by daily sales descending. And now it's going to reset with each product ID break. And you can see that in the results. We just saw the partition statement. I don't have that here for you because I want to introduce a very exciting keyword and that is qualify. Take a look at this. We're going to rank open paren, close paren over order by daily sales descending. And so we're going to get all our daily sales here. But notice the qualify statement. We're going to qualify the ranking less than seven and that's going to limit the totals coming back. You will now see the top six ranking daily sales. We're going to bring it all together for you right now because we're going to use the partition statement and the qualify in the same SQL. So as you can see here, we're ranking open print, close print over partition by product ID. Notice there's no comma then. And then we're going to then say order by daily sales descending as rank one. Then we put a qualify statement in here at the bottom that says, hey, qualify rank one less than four. So what are we getting just in a common sense look at this? We're going to get the top three daily sales per product ID. And that's the best way you can use these commands together. I'm going to introduce the qualify statement with a where statement. And let's look at this. As you can see here, we've got two ranks. They're equivalent. And we're going to have a where clause where product ID is in 1,000 or 2,000. So before anything is calculated, the system is going to find only rows that have product IDs of 1,000 or 2,000. And once it has those, it's going to then be able to sort those by the ranking. And then it's going to use the qualify to only bring back the top five rows. Take a look at this qualify statement. I'm actually saying qualify the rank minus daily sales less than six. How could I simplify that? Well, in our actual top part of the SQL, we have that same statement where we're ranking the daily sales, okay, and we give it an alias. So it would be so much nicer if I used that same alias down in the qualify clause. Let's take a look at how that's going to look next. One of the beautiful things about Teradata is once you define an alias for any column, you can use it again in your SQL. And we're going to do so in this qualify statement. We've got our rank two specialized right here in the top. So again, we can then say qualify rank two less than six. And that's going to be much simpler runs the same. There's no performance difference, but it's so much easier to write and code and understand. The greatest gift of all that you can give yourself and your company is the gift of the Nexus Query Chameleon, the query tool of the future. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you're kept up to date on all our videos.